Members of Tunisia's tourism industry are hoping that the force is with them after the International Star Wars Fans Association held its first meeting in the capital Tunis as part of a drive to reinvigorate the country's tourism sector. Children were seen in the streets playing with plastic lightsabers and marveling at the fancy dress of fans who had donned the famous imperial outfits of George Lucas's galactic empire, including the notorious figure of Darth Vader. One fan said the juxtaposition of the Star Wars march through the streets of Tunis was amazing, given that they were the same streets that saw the beginnings of the Arab Spring in 2011. The crazy moment you realize you are on the street of the 14th January of 2011, you are in a Star Wars costume and they're playing the Imperial March. It's just, well, it's just totally crazy. <laughs> Scenes that took place on the fictional planet of Tatooine were filmed in the Tunisian desert, where the set is still preserved. Tunisia hopes to use the Star Wars connection to lure fans to the country. We must diversify what we're offering to tourists. Among the things we have here are the Tunisian Sahara, which has nice spots, such as the site of Ong Jamal, where Star Wars 1 and 2 were shot. We want to promote this site because it was neglected these last years. Years of difficulty for businesses reliant on tourism following the Arab Spring uprisings have taken their toll. It's nice to have some events like this downtown. We have had enough arms and strikes. Such events for young donations are really appreciated. Tunisia has been praised for the progressive constitution it adopted last year and for largely avoiding the Islamist excesses of other countries, which went through the Arab Spring uprisings. Tunisian officials say they hope tourist numbers can exceed 7 million this year.